good morning. Welcome to DDO Stream. I am your host, Technical Underscore 13, aka Shoemaker. The point of this stream is editing DDO Wiki. I was just doing some last minute startup. I always let the stream run for a couple minutes before I actually get started. I was getting my coffee brewed. So, um, let's jump into it. Let's see what's happened in the last few weeks here. Let's do a last 30 days. There you go. Alright, let's see here. Let's scroll down here. July 15th. Got a lot of work going on to the new stuff. New items, new quests, new monsters. Monster, more specific location for some monsters, quest minimum level adjustment, ways to increase multiplier for critical hit and threat range, a um, couple new Sharn Syndicate items. Let's see here. What else do we have? Last month. This is where we were working a few weeks back. Fixed drop locations for single frame stuff. Still a couple of the crit range update things from way back being updated. Good. Item Wave of Sorrow. Miles Cage. Um, DDO Information Project getting some work. That's good. Lots of work to do there. Some CR values. Title Blacklist updates. Edit award, strike back slay. Some XP colors. I've been trying to make it a, a, a mission of mine to do every quest in the game, at least one quest a night on at least one difficulty. Um, run through each difficulty, try to gather some data and update things. So you, what you see there is I added normal information for all of these monsters for Rainbow in the Dark and updated it to use the new template quest stuff. Created a template called Index of and Count 
Take a string, a search string, and an offset and return a zero index position for the next instance of the string. Works the same way as a JavaScript index of. VB code got a little bit of work. It now properly parses out all bold, italic, underline, and code tags, I believe. Sys asked something about template named, oh, reported a bug in template named item. Some piece of information wasn't showing properly, which happens. I'm sure there's still pieces of information that aren't showing right because of inconsistencies in the previous templates that were superseded with the new template item, uh, named item. Part of the whole reason of superseding was to get some consistency because it's a was a pain to remember which template used what parameters. So if all the templates use the same parameters, then we'll be good there. Update 36 named items. Multiple drop locations, rune arms, got some work. Ah, so... Somebody mentioned that... Let's see here. Oh, that was adding sorting. Be able to sort rune arms. So we're not up to what I thought we were up to yet. Template quote got some work. Example is a new template that will just display example with some formatting changes. Template developer got added to developer. Um, ah, cube test fixes. July 27th, not even in August yet. Let's go here. Sounds like my coffee's almost ready that I was brewing. I'll have to go get a cup of that shortly. Should assume an unnamed parameter is the limit desired. Since there was no applied parameter one before, that's fine. Break anything. No backwards compatibility issues. Name monster pictures. Video stream. There we go. Some more work that we did on stream a couple weeks ago. There's a blend. Fixing double redirects. Blocking. Some new category creations. Some cleaning up of pages using deprecated templates, categorization for examples, template quote, template talk quote, common CSS snip is a new section. This is a new template snip. So if you were quoting somebody from the forums and you wanted to just quote part of what they said, you could use um, template snip. In order to trim out the other parts with it's just some fancy just some fancy formatting for smaller italicized bold dot dot um dot ellipse snip ellipse um getting my cup of coffee now so the screen won't move but i can continue to talk the power of wireless headsets
talk Ravenloft. For those that aren't currently there, I'm now part of the Discord hype squad, and as such, I try to get as many people into checking out Discord as possible. Because Discord's actually really, really good. I'm an owner of multiple servers for various things, including multiple Standing Stone games related things, from the DDO Wiki to DDO Stream, Lotro Stream, Lotro Wiki, um, the Lotro Discord channel. Um, I was co-owner of the DDO Discord channel until we had a difference of opinion, so I decided it wasn't right for me to be there, and I left, and haven't really gone back yet, and don't really intend to. Uh, looks like JJMC got promoted to bureaucrat since the last time we streamed. Awesome. I'm going to show off Discord a little bit here. So... Here's Discord. Drag this up here. You'll see that we have... Um, that's my personal server, the shoe store. Um, I'm in the DDO Wiki channel there where we have some things that you probably will never see. Um, staff room, for example, as a logs, as a system upgrade. We're working on discussing uh, what we need for upgrading the, the wiki. Um, re certain permissions are required to see inside that channel. Um, but things that you can see are announcements which is just like a welcome to the server, which needs to be updated. To user, username. Eventually, I'll have a sync me command that I'm working on for the for the Discord for the wiki that will automatically update your nickname on the on the, on Discord and give you appropriate ro roles. Um, not quite ready yet. Make sure you check out the announcements channel. Actually, I should change the name of that. Welcome. It's now the welcome channel. Um, recent changes. Could actually dump this out. Um, I'm gonna have Cobalt Worker do the recent changes feed. I just haven't gotten to it yet. Lots of things I'm working on, such as the Sync Me command, which took priority. Village Pump is a general channel. Um, image Help is if you have, if you need assistance with a uploading an image to the wiki or getting it formatted or whatever tech chat is for templates javascript css any of that kind of thing um social media is a channel to request or talk about posts to the ddo wiki social media accounts which reminds me i should go in and post this stream on some channels Posting DDO stream. Well met. You'll see that starting to pop up on the screen now. Already hosting. Good. Already hosting. Good. Oh, let's see here. Well met.
not hosting anybody, so I can host there. Video stream bot. Video stream, but well bot. met. Already hosting somebody, I'll leave that one alone. Alright, so there's a few hosts. Um, I should grab well my met. phone and post to Twitter and Facebook that we're now live. Well met. Alright, so Twitter... When Lamania is open, actually, I think this channel is always open. Talk about Lamania related stuff. Administrator notice board. Um, talk about wiki administration stuff. DDO wiki talk. If you want to talk about the show here, I need to update that. We're past episode 61. Unblock requests is if you're blocked on the wiki and you would like to get unblocked, you can pop in. Type in bang user in your username. Um, you will be updated to be in the unblock request channel. And you can talk to administrators wow, and other users about getting... Oh, thank you, Lotro Ranger. Um, actually... Playback devices... I'm on the red headset here. Probably couldn't hear the announcements except for what was coming through the microphone. There we go. Updated all that. Uh, Wiki Talk is here. So yeah, that's that's Discord. And then we get the DDO stream channel. But we have a schedule that I need to update. We got now streaming where Streambot or Probably Cobalt Worker will post um, streams, live streams. DDO stream is for chatting. Movember is talking about Movember related stuff, and host only is a private channel. We got Lotro Wiki, Lotro Stream, official Lotro Discord channel. Um, head over to the bot spam channel here on my personal server for a minute. Let's do an about. I have five bots that I'm currently running. Um, Gunther is my Stardew Valley, Valley one, which we don't really care about here. Cobalt Worker is my DDO one. So currently Cobalt Worker is in five Discord guilds. Um, DDO Wiki is the top one, then DDO Stream, and then the Shoe Store. There were two others in there that aren't being listed because they're below it. Um, I need to update this information a little bit. Um, Lotro bot. Got 856 people in the Lotro server. 122 in Lotro wiki. Lotro wiki is ahead of DDO wiki, huh? Um, this is something I've been debugging, but whatever. Um, bots in four channels. Shoebot's my testing development bot. Anyway, drag this back over here on the other screen. All right, let's see here wilderness areas. Cool. You'll go add some wilderness areas there. I don't know why I'm watching them, though. If they're bold, it means that I'm watching them. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was going to post.
post that on Twitter. Let's post it on Facebook as well. I forgot that I set that up. So when I post to the DDO Wiki Twitter, it posts to the DDO Wiki page. On Facebook as well. Cool. Good. Saves me a little bit of time posting there. Alrighty. So, back to the wiki. Wait. Why? Oh, right. So... Somebody spoofed my account name by leaving out the H and deleted a whole bunch of stuff and did a whole bunch of damage and whatnot. And as a result, they got blocked and banned and will never ever come back. Unless they, you know, IP hop and then we'll just ban them again. And eventually we're just going to ban their IP so nobody from their area can use it without requesting assistance. At least for a little while. We're on top of it. Vandalism will be swiftly dealt with. They actually did come back a few days later. And got blocked again. August 11th. We're almost there. Fixing some double redirects. Hot dogs. Somebody had some fun changing the word tub to dogs on a page, changing all the hot tubs to hot dogs. Gadget list styles updated to add another page. See strikes back got done. Um, all of the new quests I think have been done on normal now. Except for one. There's one that I haven't done yet, but I have screenshots to work on it. I run through the quest, take screenshots, and then update it later. And those are all of the recent changes in the last month. So, let's actually start doing something here. So yeah, BBA code will automatically parse out bold, code, italic, and underline. That's pretty cool. There are other BB code things that I'd like to parse out, but they're going to take a lot more work. There we go. Three double redirects. Let's take care of those first. Those are always easiest to take care of. All you gotta do is go to the page. So we got bracesofwind.png, epic braces of wind level 20 tier 1, epic braces of wind level 20 tier 1. Fix it. Fixed. 
T1 description. Fix it. Tier 1. Fix it. And those should all be adjusted again. Doesn't need the level 20 part. Because it's epic bracers of wind. Ah, so it just needs to be moved one more time. to do is I can't fix that why can't I fix that I don't like not being able to fix that let's see here I'm gonna fix that anyway ddo wiki.com index php title equals special move page So we'll go page file epic bracers of when level twenty year one dot PNG. Move page. Braces of wind tier one. Doesn't. I can just copy this. Cut that out. Can dump that. This back up. Leave a redirect behind. Move. Deletion required. This page already exists, but it's a redirect. Yes, delete the redirect. Done. Reload. Fix, 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 fix. Reload. No double redirects. Excellent. Load.
Hey Titan, welcome to the stream. How are you this morning? Yeah, it looks like we're up to 16 water categories. Let's take a look at that. Alright, we can fix wizardry 154 items. Stunning items. Well, this one is a typo. Fire H outside type monsters. So let's go to the Stoneland Fire method. Edit the page. Get rid of that H. Fire Outsider. Is that a thing? It isn't a thing. Okay. Excellent. Search and rescue. Let's see. Typo. Find a Reddit. How's your truck? Oh, did I say that? All right, so we got category stunning items. There we go, had to mute the stream for a minute while I sneezed, my brain's out. Copy. Races. Races. Stunning items, good. This is gonna be wizardry items. One fifty four. Copy. Category pay. Paste, category, save page. We got here, we got old names, which I guess are still being used. We got 57, 60, 93, 96, 107, 108, 126, 140. 154, 159, 162, 187, 371. Wow. Why do I feel like there should be more increments of wizardry? Quality comes in 38, 77, and 92. Insightful comes in 77, 143, 185, 189. So you could actually have a Wizardry 371, so what is that? If we added up the, the max, max values there, if we took 371 plus 189 plus 92, you could get 652 more spell points from Wizardry. Theoretically, even if it takes a couple items. Amulet of the Makers. So you need Amulet of the Maker Makers. Legendary Amulet of the Makers. One of these insignias. Those are probably all trinkets, so it's not possible to do that. So you'd have to go with the Deep Arcanum, which I believe is a uh, armor, right? So you get an armor, a trinket, and a staff in order to do that. But if you need spell points, I guess it can be done. <laughs> Within reason, you lose four, but whatever. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. 
Some of these I'm not sure what the person is hoping to achieve, but we're down to 13, and that's reasonable. What else do we have that we can work on? We can go to category maintenance categories. What? Let's go to maintenance categories incorrectly protected. Why is oh, because it's DDO wiki maintenance categories, okay. What do we got here? Actually, you know what? I'm going to make a little bit of an adjustment here. Thinking about this. And the ones where they're very important, such as... So anything that's got a count minus should be at the top. This up. I'm going to move these up. move this up I'm gonna move this up so those ones should be at the top parameter why is that parameter parameter beard Dictionary, sizes, image, links, protected, huh, it's weird that those were underlined as being spelled, maybe it's just the way that it's in the punctuation, add a dictionary. There's actually something about the words themselves. Maybe there's some hidden characters in there that I couldn't see. There we go, that 170 at the top works in progress, that's good. Template, exclusion side exceeded, that's good. I like those being at the top, really do. Those should be the first thing you see, because they're important. Now I'm actually going to open this up in edit mode again, only I'm not going to edit this page itself. I don't want history, I want edit. to the bottom I'm gonna go to the DDO wait I'm gonna go to the template and if if equals this this is empty skip it otherwise background color otherwise set a background color that's not what I want really empty skip it okay so that's good let's 
Linux uses pages and category PIC. FF A A A A actually D D D D It's a red color. How do I do it here? Let's count. Cat, cat, title, cat, no, demo, cat, if count is empty, then, hey, Rick and Thar, how are you today? Empty and font size index page count, whatever, whatever, whatever. That is empty font size. If it's change the size. Set the color, empty, close the span. Count is, if count doesn't exist, numbers are bad, default can omit parameter. Intentionally, if it's if it's intentionally defined as as empty, it, it neutralizes it and doesn't do anything. Set as a plus, then numbers are good. Okay, so it has to be plus or a minus. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. So. If count is empty, skip it. No. If count is intentionally set, skip it. Otherwise, if count equals minus then set the background color to that why I did that otherwise set the background color to red green blue so make it green Oh, wait a minute. So we need to add one more to this. equals
zero. So I should be just an if equals. Draw if equals pages at this is zero. Screen. Okay, so. So, if count is intentionally set to empty, skip the whole thing. Count is negative or default, then check to see how many pages are in the category. If it's zero, then it's green, otherwise it's red. Think that'll work? No, not quite what I wanted. I only wanted it to colorize the ones that are marked as this. So let's go back and take a look at that again. It's colorizing everything right now. to equal so why don't I do it with a switch instead let's chop this out Open up Notepad for a second. Let's change this to a switch. Switch. Count is empty by default. <laughs> if it's a Plus, then it's just background color this. If it's a minus, then it's 
if and if. Otherwise, skip it. So, if it's an empty, yeah, so if, if it's not plus and it's not minus, then do that. Okay, so let's pop that in there. Oh, it won't. I see a bug. Switch, count, background color of this. Ah. refresh this and see if it looks right there we go that's what I wanted to see so those are the red ones are something that should be looked at green ones we don't care everything else is just additional things to look at that can be sorted and if you were to sort these by whatever Oh, okay, so I need to fix that. So it should be data sort type on those three. I need to set a data sort type of numeric. Data sort type equals numeric. Um, let me make sure that that's right. I don't remember if it's numeric or number. Yeah, whatever.
Yes, I muted. I hit control left to search for something. So, what we're doing is we're going to search the forums, because that's a good forum question. I have no idea. Based on the discussion here, it would seem that it does. Warlock pack damage. Question about Warlock and spell power. Which attack scale with spell power? No response there. There, that won't happen anymore. I just adjusted my um, my hotkey for it. I have to press Control Shift F to mute my microphone now. All right. So I'm gonna guess that the answer to your question is yes. So what was I going to do here? Oh yeah, that's right. I was going to add to the template a little bit to make sure that there's a number. Okay, so anus categories. There's no reason for this to be bulked up like that. Let's um, break each row into its each column into its own row here. Data sort. Value equals pages in cat subcats raw this should make sure that I always have a number as a value here this is going to be pages this is going to be files The one before it. Should always be a date. Here 
revision timestamp. Time. Okay. Set proper data sort values. So now, if I sort, there, now they'll sort properly. Excellent. Need to refill my coffee cup. Oh yeah, I bought milk. Why am I using non-dairy creamer? Oops. Whatever. Let's actually do something with this information. Druid equipment page is broken. Why? Let's find out. Uh-oh. An error 500. Let's try again. Oh, that's right. Okay. So it's not unlikely to get a 500 trying to load a page where template include size is exceeded. Which is why I'm trying to load the page so that I can fix it. If it doesn't work on the second try, or it doesn't look like it's going to work, we can go to the edit page. Which still might have an issue for me because I think I have it set up to preview on load, on first load. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to my preferences. Pages in here have too many templates on them, or the templates they have are transcluding too much stuff. Yes, that's the technical term. So we got a little bit of loading going on here.
Is the whole wiki down? Let's see if I can bring it up in Firefox. Hell, not sure what's going on there. You may have it cached. Ah, now it's returning a 503. So, There we go. We 
bring something up real quick. this back up. Muting the microphone for a minute here.
Alrighty, and I'm back. Looks like we've got no response from Zebo yet. Let's see if the wiki has resolved itself. Nope, still a 503. So... Let's do something here. So, studio stream, time left, time spent, go away, go away. Um, let's see here. The shoe store go away, that can go away. That can go away, that can go away. Uh, let's see here. Cam can go away. Event list can go away, alert box event list for DDO stream. Okay. So... Let's pop in game, see if we can collect some data. While we wait for DDO Wiki to come back up. <clears throat> I think I'm on Wayfinder. Level two. I can 
go take level three. I should do that based on my rank. I don't know if I have feather falling or not. I have a clicky for it, so I'm gonna pop that. Oop, wrong one. Meh, whatever. And this is a barbarian, chaotic, good female con build. Okay. points in balance point and listen get a feat uh, level three which should I take for level three on a character that I never ever play Power attack. All right, let's see here. response yet from Zevo. my point so far on a racial tree.
No idea what's going on here. So I guess I'm still on even though I seem to be having some kind of issues with lag. So when I'm collecting data, one of the things that I like to do is I like to have my combat log available to the side there so I can see what's going on. Okay, Firefox is coming back up. I also like keeping my XP log available so I can see what I'm doing here. I do wish that it was resizable, configurable so I could see more of it, or if I could even just have it locked here so it doesn't keep scrolling every time I kill something. 
that would be cool. But it is what it is. So I killed it, and then I attempted to save. Ah. Piercing damage. Alrighty. Wiki still down. Shall we continue? Oh, wrong quest. <laughs> Oh, come on. Yeah. So I'm going to take a pic picture of Miller Tarragon, Rose Thorn. I'm going to save it. Yo, M I L L E R, Terrigan, Rose Thorn dot PNG. Sometimes I like to just stand here and take some damage so I can see what kind of damages they do and what kind of attacks they have. It's like Iron Spike just has generic Iron Defender damages.
the whole thing is down, you're probably looking at a cached page. So if you reload the page, you should get a 503 error. Switch over to this, and I'm still getting a 503. Yeah, you need to do some more reloading. You're still caching stuff. <laughs> 